Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop Mystery Box unboxing for you. For this Mystery Box Monday, we're gonna be opening up a mystery box from Chalice Collectibles. And I actually ordered this earlier in February, but it actually took me a pretty long time to get it because it's a little bit of a weird story. Whenever I order from Chalice Collectibles, I can get it shipped to my house, I don't have to be there or whatever, it's just like most packages, right? But sometimes, you know, there are packages you have to sign for. For some reason, this package was set as a signature needed. So, of course, I was never home when it was delivered, because it was delivered in the middle of the day when I was working. So, I never got the package, and I got multiple updates that they tried to deliver it to my house, and the signatures were required, so I wasn't able to get it. Eventually, they said that they were going to send it over to FedEx over near my house, and they eventually did it like two weeks or almost two weeks after it was originally supposed to be shipped here. And so I finally got it. I picked it up from FedEx. So I'm happy that I finally got it. But we have the uh, February uh, three pop mystery box from Chow's Collectibles in here. There are some chances for some pretty good grails in here go ahead and throw up the picture right up here so I know that there's the metallic genie from San Diego comic-con there's San Diego comic-con doctor strange there's Pete Puma there's the Funko HQ Kevin Smith exclusive so there are some pretty pretty cool pops that you could potentially get in a couple anime ones and I think Dobby and Ochaka those would be really cool to get any of those pops in that picture it would be awesome to get but I'm just looking for something that is going to be new to our collection. Maybe some with a little bit over value, of course. I believe these ones are guaranteed value, at least to get what you paid for. But of course, we're always going to try to look a little bit above and beyond what we had paid. So we'll take a look at what we can end up getting today. And while I'm opening up this box, of course, I'll take this as a reminder to all of you to make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We are almost at 1,600, so help us hit that and then help us keep growing up to 2,000. It would be awesome to hit that goal sometime soon. We can't do it without your help, so thank you guys so much for your support. All right, so here is the box, and yes, we did get two of them inside, so I believe there's three pops in each, so let's go ahead and get these boxes out. So here are the two boxes. They are a little bit bigger, so I believe that should be enough for three pack pretty well, and not a lot of movement around so that's a good sign too even though there's some dings on the boxes they was in, it was a box inside another box so they should be all good so we'll go ahead and open up one of them and i'll go ahead and start with the one on the right and see maybe what goodies we have inside here now out of the picture that they showed the one that i would probably like to get the most would be that kevin smith funko hq one because i've never been to funko hq and of course so i'm not really going to be able to get any of those exclusives so it would be pretty cool if i was able to pick up maybe that one the doctor strange one would be nice although i already have in my collection just with the shared sticker uh, but it would be cool to get the actual con sticker and then pete puma would be my third one because that one is just really cool part of that looney tune set okay so i just feel bubble wrap and i don't feel like a sorter box or anything so i'm going to try to be pretty careful and make sure that i don't show anything and also try not show it to you guys because some of you guys let me know that on the last video they actually showed a couple of the pops when i took them out of the box so you were able to see them so i'm going to try to do my best to hold them out of the way so that way you guys don't get the surprise room for yourselves all right so i just put it off to the side i have not looked at the pops that are inside but yeah it looks like they're in protectors they are not in sorters which is actually something that i prefer that's good and i have it on the ground so that way you guys can't see it and i won't be able to see it either so we'll go ahead and just pick this first one up that i can get out of the box and all right so in the sorter all right i feel that's the back of the box we'll just throw it up and see three two one Oh, we got, oh, it, this is the special edition Boba Fett pop unmasked. I believe this is the Walmart exclusive pop, which does look pretty cool. So it's similar to the uh, common Boba Fett pop, I believe. I'm trying to look on the back. Uh, yeah, it is pretty similar. Actually, just a little bit different. They do have a little bit of a different sculpt, which is nice. On the common, kind of holding his blaster out. But on this pop, he's holding his blaster in and he has his arm on a different way. And then, of course, he has his mask off. So that does look nice. So this is Boba Fett from The Mandalorian, a part of that Mandalorian set that had so many pops there on the back. 
really cool pop I did not order it from Walmart because the only way you can order it was if you ordered it with a protector I didn't want to pay 16 bucks for it so I ended up passing on it but hey I did eventually get it as far as value I'd probably guesstimate this is probably somewhere around $20 value would be my guess and this is not too much dissimilar from the New York Comic Con exclusive Boba Fett. I know that one has a little bit of different outfit and he's not holding the blaster, but they are pretty similar since they are both unmasked. So let's go into the second pop in box number one. And yep, this is the top of it. And let's see, three, two, one. And it is, I think it's Rock Lee. Yes, it is Rock Lee from Naruto. This is normally a Hot Topic exclusive. But it's there with the special edition sticker. Still a pretty cool pop. I've seen this in stores before. I think I saw it last year and I passed on it. And then they completely sold out. So it's cool that I got it. Probably not one I'm going to really keep from my collection long term. But I'm sure it's something that a lot of you guys would definitely enjoy. And if I had to guess for Rock Lee, I'm also thinking around $20 to $25 is going to be the value. So, so far, I'm thinking we're somewhere around $40 to $45. So, at least we're on track to get the value for this box. And we got one more pop in this box here. And so, let's see what this last one ends up bringing us. Hopefully, it's something good. And it would be awesome if it's something that's more like $40, $50 to really push us over the value. That would be sick. And let's see. Yep, this is the back of the box here, the protector. Let's see. Three, two, one. What is it? Is it something good? Tell me. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is Dale Doback from Step Brothers. I've wanted these Step Brothers pop for such a long time. And I believe they came out in like 2015 or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, 2015. They're on the bottom. Wow. And this one's in great condition. Like, perfect condition super mincy dale and brennan that you can see they're on the back of the box that would that is awesome i would love for them to make more Step Brothers pops they can definitely make so many more it looks like uh dale has his drumsticks in his hand and then to see in the back here that brennan has his sword definitely really awesome and definitely the best pull of the entire box so I'm really happy with this pull. We definitely got overvalue for sure because I'm pretty sure this one's like a $50 pop, if not more. So that's really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, move these over to the side. And then we're going to go over to the second box and we'll see what the second box gives us and if it's any better than this one. All right, so we got the second box open here on the side. And I do have to give Chalice Collectibles props on this one. They did pack it pretty well. But let's see, we got this first pop here that we'll go ahead and pull up. And uh, this one kind of feels a little bit heavier. So hopefully that means it's something good. All right, so here's the back of it. So let's see, three, two, one. And we have, it is the Anbu Itachi Chalice Collectibles exclusive there. That one's definitely pretty cool. I believe this one does have a chase variant that comes with it. Of course, this is not the chase. I think the chase is him with the Anbu mask on. But this is definitely still a pretty cool one. I think it does have a value of around $20 or so. So it is a good start to the box. And it is definitely a pretty cool one that I did think about ordering at one point. I saw they just restocked for pre-orders for uh, this pop. If you were looking to get it, you can now get it uh, this summer. And you can even order the Chase bundle with it. Uh, so it's cool that we ended up getting it within the actual box itself. So that way I don't even have to wait if I wanted to get this pop. All right, so now we have pop number two, and let's go ahead and take a look at it again. I just hope it's something that we don't have in the collection. And so far with the first box, it was ones I didn't have in the collection, which was good. So I think we're winning today for sure. So the second pop we have in our hands here, we're going to reveal in three, two, one. Let's see. Oh, Demon Slayer, I see. I see Tanjiro. Is it the chase? It is not. But this one is definitely really cool. This is the Galactic Toys exclusive pop, and this is actually Tanjiro with the Hinokami Kagura Dance, so, and it actually has the flaming sword there, which is pretty cool, and then the chase is actually a glow-in-the-dark version, which would have been awesome to get here, but we do not. These pops are such great detail, the entire Demon Slayer set. The big C on the back, I have picked up most of the set, I believe. So it's cool that I finally got this one. But this one does come with the special edition sticker. I think they just started to ship out in the past like two or three weeks. The 
uh, Tenjido exclusives from Galactic Toys. So if you guys are still waiting for yours, hopefully you get yours soon. But I'm glad we got ours inside this mystery box. And I know this one just came out, so the value's not probably not super accurate, but I would still guess around $20, $25 for this pop right now, being the common and with there being the chase. Normally that makes the commons a little bit lower value when there is the chase there, but I think it's still gonna be a pretty cool pop to get. And now we got one last pop left in this box, and hopefully we get it off with a banger like we did on the first box, getting that Step Brothers pop. So let's see what we got here. So I have it ready, three, two, one. Okay, is it good? Is it a good one? It is. Wanda Maximoff from Avengers Endgame. I literally just got this pop in our last mystery box that we opened up. Forget the last place that we just got a mystery box from, but we just literally opened up and this Wanda Maximoff pop came in and it did not have the sticker on that one either. And I know it's a pop in a box exclusive, so are they just not sending them with special edition stickers? Was there just a batch of them that didn't have stickers? That's interesting. Cause yeah, this one says that it was printed in 2021. So it should have a sticker on it. So that's definitely really weird, but hey, it's still a really cool pop. And I know that did have a pretty good amount of value. So it's still a good one to add the collection here. And I think it's going to continue to rise in value, especially with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness coming out in May. So it's still a cool pop to have, and it's gonna help us win our little game today. So there were our two boxes we got from Chalice Collectibles for this mystery box. The first one it was definitely better in my opinion, my favorite. But you guys that might be big anime fans, you might love the bottom box here. But it's just a little bit disappointing that I already have the Wanda and I just got a mystery box. So now I have a three of them. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and check out the values of these three and see which box ends up being the higher value. I'm pretty sure the first one is the higher value, but I might be surprised who knows, the second one could take the cake since these are a couple newer pops, but we'll be right back. We'll go ahead and check the values and we'll see which one comes out to be the winner and if we came out on top. All right, so we now have all of the values tallied up for these six pops and how we came out on top. I was a little surprised by some of the values of these. I have to admit the Boba Fett one here did not have a uh, special edition sticker value, so I had to go with the Walmart sticker one. And I believe the Tunjido, just because it's newer, didn't have a special edition sticker one. Uh, for the Wanda one, since it doesn't have a sticker, I just went with the special edition sticker because there's uh, not a non-sticker price for it. But the rest of them did have those uh, special edition sticker ones, which were good. So we'll go ahead and start with the ones that are right here on top in front and go down those values. So the first one that we have here is the Walmart exclusive with the special edition sticker Boba Fett unmasked and from the Mandalorian. And this one surprisingly is worth $36. So $36 is not bad for this pop, which is about $10 more than what I thought it actually was going to be. And the second pop here is Rock Lee from Naruto. This one normally a Hot Topic exclusive, but with that special edition sticker, that's gonna be valued at $29. So again, a few dollars more than what I thought it was gonna be because I was thinking it was gonna be something like $23, $24. So a few dollars more than that, that's pretty good. And then our third pop in that box is Dale Doback. I thought for sure it's $50 and it is exactly worth $50 for Dale Doback from Step Brothers. So that is perfect as that one itself pretty much made up the value for the box. So these three pops in front comes to a value total price of $115, which is awesome. And we ended up paying 60 bucks for the box itself. So we ended up almost doubling our value on that box. So now it's time to take a look at the next box with these three. And the first one we have, which is the Anbu Itachi Chalice Collectibles exclusive. This one was valued up at $28, which I'm surprised is not valued more, but I was guessing it was somewhere around that $25 range since it's a little bit of a newer pop, but it's still a pretty cool one. $28 does help us as it goes over the, the average value that we need to hit in order to make this box work. And now Tunjido, like I mentioned, it did not have a special edition sticker listing on PPG, but it did have the regular one. So we'll just kind of go with that for the for the sake of argument. So Tunjido is going to be valued up at $41, which is definitely a lot more than I thought for a newer one. With the chase, I thought it would be valued around like $25, maybe $30, but being at $41 definitely helps a whole lot more. And it is definitely justified because it is a really sick pop. And then we have Wanda Maximoff here. 
and this one finally they updated PPG because the last time I got this in I think like a week or two ago on the last mystery box they did not have a special edition listing now they do so the special edition sticker even though it doesn't have it but a special edition sticker would be valued up at $43 with a pop in a box sticker actually valued at 60 so we'll take the lower of it at 43 for the sake of argument but still a really awesome pop so this second box here actually gave the first one a run for its money these three are valued up at $112. So that's also almost double of than what we paid. So when we combine all of these pops together, that comes to a total value of $227. I ended up paying 60 bucks for each box. And then with shipping and taxes, everything included, it ended up coming to 140. So we ended up getting way over. So actually $87 over value. That is huge. That's awesome. And I got some pops that I definitely want to have in my collection. The uh, Dale Doback. I've been wait looking at those Step Brothers pops for a while now. So I just have to find Brennan and that would be awesome. And then this uh, Boba Fett one, which I waited on for a while. I'm glad that I got it in something like this. Uh, and that Tundra one is definitely really sick to add to the other Demon Slayer pops that I had picked up. So I'm definitely happy with these mystery boxes that we ended up picking up. Now I want to hear from you guys, what do you think about the 6 pops we got today in this mystery box from Chalice Collectibles? I think this is definitely one of the strongest boxes, strongest performances I got from a mystery box from Chalice Collectibles since I've got, I think this is like the 5th or 6th box I've gotten from them. It's always pretty exciting opening up these mystery boxes. You guys seem to enjoy them as well, so let me know in the comments down below what you think of today's mystery boxes and uh, if any of you guys were able to pick up this Chalice Collectibles box i believe it was like the the grail box for february let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and of course if you guys can make sure you hit that like button it helps the video do a lot better it makes a massive difference and it just takes a second hit that subscribe button as well while you're over there help us get to 2,000 subscribers as we're on the road to 2k and thank you guys so much for watching today and as always we'll see you again real soon